right, here we go. Exploring wild places where we live. Grayson's driving. We're almost at our destination, visiting wild places close to where we live. So today we are on a journey to explore wild places right where we live here in Florida. We've taken a little bit of a journey today to Marjorie Keenan Rawlings State Park in Hawthorne, Florida. Now, if you'll remember, Marjorie Keenan Rawlings wrote Cross Creek and the Yearling. She is a Pulitzer Prize winning author and she moved here to the creek in 1928. She is a woman who experienced Florida just as it was so many years ago, the people that lived here. And today we get to explore her home and we wanna take you with us. So come along and let's explore Cross Creek. This is the barn where everything happened. She's got her feet in here, all of her tools. She probably worked on her wagons and trucks. This, this is where a lot of the things would have happened. book on this bookshelf was an author that stayed in this room. Um, that'd be Robert Frost and Hemingway are just a few of them. Marjorie Keenan Rawlings was a famous author and she wrote about what life was like in rural Florida. Now, if you've ever read Cross Creek, you'll understand that her writing of the natural elements was so descriptive that if you had never seen what she was talking about, you want to find it and go see what she was describing. Now, in the book, she describes a magnolia tree. Now, we have magnolia trees everywhere and you might not give it a second look but the way she describes the leaves and the way it changes each season. She describes the blooms. You'll see a bloom here. And this is the biggest magnolia tree I think I've ever seen. And how exciting is it to come and visit a place that you've read about in her descriptions? So we've just finished our tour here at the Marjorie Keenan Rawlings house and I just finished reading Cross Creek. So going through the house after reading it, you recognize a lot of the things that she was talking about, but I wanted to share with you the outhouse and there's nothing really special about an outhouse, but she writes in the book that when she moved here, she'd never seen an outhouse that had a screen door on the front of it. And she didn't like that too much. And if she had visitors here, everyone can see you sitting on the John. So she painted this streak on here so that you couldn't see directly into the screen, which I thought was hilarious. And then after a few years, she always had company here. 
and a couple of incidents of walking in on someone. So she put a stick out here with an old dish rag. And if you were using the bathroom, you were to put the rag out so that everyone would know someone was using the bathroom. So this, I just think is funny to come here after reading that, thinking that was such a funny thing and actually seeing it here for myself.